back to another awesome episode of Eric's God Games. I'm all super excited because I got a lot of stuff to show you. A lot of stuff. And the best part is, is I still have a lot of stuff left over for the next two videos. So, it's going to be a good couple of videos. I am going to warn you right away. <clears throat> a lot of this is not games. I know. But, I think you're going to enjoy it either way. So... We'll do the non-gaming stuff first. Let me move the games out of the way and hope to God they do not fall. Alrighty, let's start with the non-gaming items. Um, if I do it randomly, just to tell you the price right off the bat, there's usually a reason for it. And I know some people really are into it, and that's cool if they're not. I'm very, very, very much into finding deals, so if I find a good deal on something, I really don't mind sharing it, because I know a lot of people would do the same. Like, if you if you easily found, like, an old NES or Super Nintendo game for a buck, and it was worth several hundred to a thousand, I'm pretty sure you'd want to brag about that just a little bit. Also, I'm noticing, just making sure, yeah. As you can see, I'm growing my hair out a little bit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it a good? Does it work? I know I've usually had a very short and kind of like spiked and almost like a little faux hawk, but I'm growing it out. I'm growing it out. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. I'm digging it. It's I've never had it this long, and I think ever since I was probably about five or six years old. But anyway, let's let's get into it. Uh, for five dollars at GameStop, the horrible, horrible place of GameStop, where you can never find anything anything good there. Just it's 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 where it's where games go to become slaves. Honestly, it's it's just a terrible place. Um, I was able to free one of the uh, one of the many items there on clearance. They're trying to move a lot of their uh, pop figures there, and I'm very particular as to what the pops I do get. Um, if I find one at a thrift store for like a buck, I might end up getting it. But I did get this. It was the Harley Quinn Imposter Batman. Um, these, I'm a huge fan of the imposter line. The one I really wanted was the Scarecrow one, but I can never seem to find it. So for $5, I figured that's, that'd be a pretty good, pretty good find. I'm going to put that right back up here in my giant wall of pop. Um, let's see. For, at Goodwill for two bucks, I actually found a copy of Five Nights at Freddy's, the Silver Eyes. This kind of breaks down all of the lore and the... All the events that predate the games, and I think even touches base on one or two of the uh, games. Um, Matt Pat's talked about it on his channel. He's actually said they're semi decent books. Um, I always see these at Walmart going for about eight dollars. So to find this for two bucks, I figured was really good. So um, it's not immediately on my to, uh, to read list. I'm actually thinking about rereading Ready Player One uh, in anticipation for the movie. By the way, if you can find that book, get it. It's a good book. Uh, let's see. Oh, we'll do the movies last. Well, no, second to last. Uh, for two bucks, I also managed to find at Goodwill a copy of Third Eye Blind, and I believe that's their self-titled album. Um, I remember listening to this a lot growing up. I never owned it, but I, a lot of the songs on here I'm very familiar with. Uh, Graduate, Burning Man, um, I Want You... Uh, narcolepsy a lot of these i've listened to but for you know i'm really trying to beef up my cd collection and i thought this was pretty good i'm noticing that a lot of like <sighs> cds are becoming really easy to find movies are becoming pretty good to find games have kind of dipped off for me so to, to find anything like this is is a, is good in my eyes so moving on um something i didn't I didn't include in the last video, but it was um, uh, it was Scott Pilgrim on Blu-ray. This was the other Blu-ray I got. It was the two for ten, and this is uh, Batman: The Dark Knight Returns, the deluxe edition. And I, I easily was any probably the best Batman movie I've seen in quite a long time. I might even say it's up there in my number one if I was gonna edge out The Dark Knight. But fantastic movie. If uh, you're not familiar with the movies, this is um, 
the Dark Knight Returns, the uh, the comic series done in movie form, and they don't have him screwing around with Batgirl because why 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 screw things up? I mean, <laughs> you'd almost think that was pointless. For five dollars at Target, I found a uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy of The World's End. I think my favorite out of out of the Cornetto trilogy, the trilogy being Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and this. This, I don't know. For some reason, I really like this. I don't feel like it, it really sat at the slow moments nearly as long as the first two movies did. That, and I just seen the living crap out of the first two. But for five dollars for a brand new copy of this for the world's end amazing find um i might go back and pick up the cornetto trilogy on dvd because i think it was only like 13 dollars, and i i don't know part of me would just like to have everything on one one nice little bundle uh for seven bucks at walmart i found a blu-ray copy of killer clowns from outer space and I am so excited to have this in my collection. I remember watching this growing up with my family so much. Uh, so quirky, so dumb. The, everything in here looks cheesy, but my God, if it's not memorable and fun to watch. And um, if you're into horror movies, I recommend picking this up. It's a combination of just goofy 80s to 90s horror humor. It's, it's oh my God, not to mention the beginning um voice acting doesn't li line up with like the, the the lip service so it just looks so bad but it is it's a good movie and i highly recommend anyone watch it i, I promise you if, if you're afraid of clowns this is not gonna bother you except for maybe one or two scenes in this movie uh but other than that great movie some really interesting kills in this too by some of the monsters uh, go and check it out on on youtube for uh stuff about this movie um Decker Shadow and uh, Dead Meat. They did. They both did reviews of this movie, but I also for eight dollars. Just just go buy it. Now we get into VHSs. Um, VHSs are might be more of a mainstay on here. Don't really know yet. But for fifty cents, got a copy of The Mighty Ducks, and I'm really excited to get that on VHS. I think that was one of the first movies. No, no, it was the second. It was the the second Mighty Ducks movie I remember a lot. The third one was like the treat I never got to see. I saw the second one first, then the original, and then the third. And I still like all three of them to this day. So hate on that if you want. For two dollars, I also got the. It doesn't really have like a pack name, but it's basically a VHS box set of Disney's. Tailspin, all four VHSs. I don't know if this has the... I doubt it's the entire series. No, no, just a just a bowl. I think it's just like a... Um, oh, it's a... Each, each VHS is like a different... Um, there's like three or four episodes on it relating to a certain topic. Like one of them is uh, dedicated to just Baloo. One's dedicated to television. One's dedicated to crazy antics. And one's dedicated to... Um, uh, crazy flyers, but I remember watching this a lot and I never really see these on DVD, but to get all these on VHS is awesome. And I got it half off. So it was two bucks. So yeah, I said, yeah, I said two, I was originally marked at four, but I got it for two. So, and the last non game items I have here are more comic related stuff. Uh, I said before, I'm not going to put single issues on here unless they're big time. These, these are not single issues. They are trades. How that works with trades, if you don't know what I'm talking about, trades or hardcovers. Trades just mean that the book is it's not a solid cover. It it's 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 just not a solid cover. That's what trade that's what we refer to as trades. They usually pertain to anywhere between one to six comics, and that's usually telling an individual story. But Ollie's where I live, it's a it's a small store. Um, they get all of their merchandise from like the large warehouse stores and they get it really cheap. So they sell it even cheaper. So I think for a grand total of $7, I got uh, new 52 is Green Lantern Corps trade number one. This is the first, I'm going to say the first four or five comics in the new 52 line for Green Lantern Corps. I even think I have those loose, but um, I'm trying to boost my uh, comic trade collection. And the next one I got for uh, $4 
was uh, New 52 Secret Origins number two. Um, I don't recall if I showed these on, or if I showed off the other ones. Um, if not, spoiler alert, um, I it was Secret Origins number one and Savage Hawkman one and two. But Ollie's is running a deep, deep discount on on their comic trades. It's primarily DC. They have some Marvel in there. I'm actually going to go back on Monday and see what they got. They're selling all these brand new, some of them even wrapped for as high as only $5. Um, they did this with wrestling DVDs. I'm really excited to see them do it with this. So moving on to games. And there's definitely no shortage of games, but compared to what I have here, I feel like it's not as much. So uh, where to start? Well, we'll start off with a trade I did with my buddy Jason. Um, buddy, if you're watching, thank you for this trade. I'm sorry it took a little while to hammer out the details. Um, he's a parent with several, several adopted kids. I have my own child and I'm still learning the basics. So, she's just hanging in her swing. It's hilarious. But I traded him a bunch of stuff. I don't know if he put it on a video. If not, I'm going to show you what I got from him. He sent me a Disgaea D2, A Brighter Darkness. This almost completes my console-specific Disgaea, uh, Disgaea collection. All I need now is the fifth one for PS4, and I will have all of them, excluding the PSP version. I also He also sent me a copy of um, eph Ephemeral Fantasia. I'm guessing this is a Guitar Hero-esque RPG, because that's essentially what the game is built on. If I have any gameplay for it, I'll put it right there. Okay. And he also sent me Fatal Fury Battle Archives 1 and 2. I did not know I already had this, so I have a duplicate. If anyone would like to trade for it, let me know. So, extras. So, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Awesome stuff. Let's see, uh, for a little after Christmas, I purchased this at a red box, and they gave it a generic PS3 case, but it's a copy of Everybody's Golf for PS4, and it's bar none one of the funnest golf games I've ever played. I haven't played it in about a month. Hi. Yeah, I'll get to you. <laughs> she woke up from a nap. She's a little sluggish. Um, I got it for ten bucks. It was a steal. Um, the game is still. I I can never find a used copy of this. And every time I see it at GameStop, it's forty bucks. So that was awesome. Um, one second. Back. These two I bought at a family dollar right before Christmas because they actually sell PS4 games. And I think for $13 I got Mortal Kombat X, which, which was good. I don't, I don't, I'm still, I, Mortal Kombat 9 in my opinion is one of the best I've played in a long time. This was good. It, I feel like it really dropped the ball on making a lot of the characters more well-rounded. And then Earth's Dawn. I know nothing about this. I saw it was $5, and I'm one of those people where it's like, if you find a PS4 game for $5 that isn't utter crap, like some rinky-dink shovelware title or, or even just some throwaway add-on, then you get it. So, happy to have that. Uh, also picked up a new copy of Overwatch for PS4 because I actually really like this game. The main problem I have with it is that I feel like it's taking me too long to progress in it. And honestly, I needed a first-person shooter that doesn't take itself nearly as serious as Call of Duty does. And this definitely does that. So, um, And I'm a huge fan of Blizzard, so I love the homage it plays to, uh, pays to like other Blizzard stuff. Especially Hearthstone, which is hilarious. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Telltale game. Amazing Telltale game. I might do a video talking about my favorite Telltale games, but I um, I want to get The Wolf Among Us for PS4, and I kind of want to play through the rest of the uh, Walking Dead uh, series first. 
But this I was very happy with. This was really good. It took a little while for me to get into it. I'd say almost toward the end of the first chapter. And from then on, the game just, it was amazing. Uh, a lot of fun. Great story. Uh, it kind of... It doesn't necessarily... It's weird. It, it wants to feel like it takes place after the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And you'll know why once you play it. But it kind of doesn't. I almost expect them to make a movie based around this. This actually was really cool. Uh, more Telltale games. I got this on sale. At brand new. And then it's uh, Back to the Future. I've never officially finished this game. I'm going to be playing the crap out of this one. This is one of the more in-depth Telltale games. that requires you to really search your surroundings. Really use your detective work. Really remember a lot of the stuff that you're hunting down. Because you're essentially trying to save Doc from from basically being, you know, being a slave to time. I don't want to give it away. I know it's really generic, but you got to save Doc. He's stuck in time. He, his life is his life is in danger. You got to save him. This was a lot more in depth. The the Guardians one and Batman are very very linear, very story driven, but my god, are they good. Speaking of the Batman Telltale game, they are making a comic line now called Batman Sins of the Father that is based after that storyline. And if for those of you who do not know, in that universe, Batman's father, Bruce Wayne's father, is actually a real-life criminal. I highly recommend you play the game and then go check out the comic. I'm going to be buying my issue one next week. And the last game in this video is the reason. It's the one game I've been playing nonstop since I got it. Um, it is online only, and say what you will, I don't care. It's a ton of fun. It hasn't gotten boring yet. Yes, some of the games I've been in have been really glitchy and messed up, but I don't care. Dead by Daylight is easily in my top five best games I have played in the last year. For a game that has no storyline, for a game that has nothing else to offer except for the fact that you can party up with your friends or you could strictly play online. The goal of the game is kill okay, kill or survive. You can play as one of four survivors where your goal is to um, repair five generators which then gives power to two exits and there's a good handful of stages. I want to say at least a dozen stages. Several of them take place after popular movie sets, like Gideon's Factory from the Saw franchise, um, uh, Springwood from Nightmare on Elm Street, Haddonfield from uh, Halloween. No, no Jason in this. Um, maybe that'll be a, a later video if I do end up getting the game. And... Uh, but yeah, this game purely is you play with four friends online and there is uh, an additional killer. The killer's job is to attack you and sacrifice you to something called the Entity. The Entity will only take you if basically you, the killer has done enough damage to you and puts you on a hook. So we're borrowing a lot here from Leatherface, but it works and it is so much fun. It encourages real co-op online it encourages real strategy and my god is it not a ton of fun to actually feel immersed in a survivalist game like you're in a survival horror movie nonetheless and you get points for you get points for sneaking around the killer for repairing generators for healing others for finding chests um, just, there's just a lot to do and it's a lot of fun. And I know people say they hate online only games and I understand if that's not your thing, but I highly recommend if you play online and you're really big into like the whole group gaming atmosphere, I, I cannot emphasize that's enough. I, 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 brand new, I still think it's like 30, $40 and it's worth every single cent. She's getting cranky. It is time for me to go. Let me know what you thought in the comments below everything I got. I thought everything was a home run. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later.